I'm Corey Mack from LaForge Optical, and what we do here at LaForge Optical is uh, design and manufacture prescription eyewear with uh, some augmented reality features built into them. So what we have here are the uh, some alphas, uh, some prototypes of what the alpha models will look like. And then this is where we got started uh, back in 2013, our very first prototype. So a lot of stuff has changed. Things have shrunken yeah. down considerably. And then back here is our fifth or sixth iteration of our sort of optical prototype. So if you were to put this on, you're able to see how the optics work. So it's been a lot of work to basically get rid of all these lines within the lens, but now all that's invisible, all you can really see is the uh, is the sort of mirror and the uh, and the ones that are going to be ready for production uh, near the end of the year. So uh, let's take a look at the Mr. DJ style here. So basically what we have in each one of the temples here is some electronics. So over here is inside of this is your motherboard basically and your batteries back here. And when you use our smartphone app called Social Flow, you're actually able to um, take some of the data from your phone and it'll float out in front of you. And when I say float in front of you, it's not float out in front of you here, like it's not in the way, it's actually frames whatever you're looking at, so it's not made to be uh, distracting. Uh, there's also some touch pads that are integrated into this, so you can scroll, and a couple buttons, so uh, volume up, volume down. Uh, for the beta bold version, uh, there's a button to activate the camera, and then a activate some sort of voice control. So we're still looking at uh, Siri based on the new announcement, Google Now and some others trying to integrate some of those features uh, in the future. And then of course, if you're uh, left-handed, the uh, you can just mirror the controls in your settings. This is basically the sort of, I guess, schema of how this works is, is very similar to a smartwatch, except for you don't have to look down and you know your finger doesn't cover up most of the screen. So you charge it, there's a USB uh, type C port that's at the end of the uh, temple back here and you just plug that into any uh, place that takes USB, and that's how you charge it. So the battery life is about 18 hours under normal use, um, and the, it takes about 30 minutes to charge. So it's not going to be super inconvenient. Uh, something else a lot of people wonder, say, how do you get that battery life to be 18 hours? And it's because most of the time the screen's gonna be off. So uh, we're starting with notifications, music, and a couple other things, and then we'll be getting into navigation, and then opening it up to third party developers because we think that uh, that's where most of the creativity is gonna lie. What we do is regardless of if you have a prescription or not, the price is the same, which is probably shocking to most people. We don't charge for eyewear. It's kind of like just charging someone because they have a disability. But uh, you go on our website and you upload your prescription if you have one, and then we just make them uh, built to order. If you don't have a prescription, we just need to get a measurement for your eyes to make sure uh, you don't get any nausea or headaches or anything like that going on. So we try to make it super simple.